I'm Dick. And I'm Hope. And today we're going to talk tomatoes. So last year we grew tomatoes and we did okay with them. But this year we wanted to have the tomato patch of our dreams, like the tomato plants that you see in the Godfather movie. Over your head, out of this world tomatoes. So yeah, we made a few changes to what we did last year and it's worked out tremendously. We have really big, tall tomatoes. It's May and they're there's already fruit on them. We already have some tomato fruit. So we're gonna have a great year, we think, we hope. Yeah, it looks great already. So we wanted to share with you guys what we did different this year to up our tomato game. Before we started on the tips, we gotta say one really big change we did this year. We started our tomatoes from seed indoors about 10 weeks before we were ready to set them out. This is a big deal because last year we started very late. Last year we started them from seed outdoors, so we started them from seed after our last frost date. This did not give them enough time to grow before it got too hot to set fruit. Way after the last frost date. Yeah, so we were getting our fruit really, really late in the year because they were just surviving through the heat. Yeah. This year we're already getting fruit because it is not too hot for them. This gives them a chance to grow deeper roots, which will help with your watering bill. Yeah. The first thing we want to talk about is space. Last year, we grew our plants too close together. Yeah, I had to constantly transplant tomatoes because I started them off really close together. Yeah, and that's no fun, and the plants don't like it. This year, we wanted to correct that, so we gave our plants some space. Like Hope, plants need space. So this year, we planted them about two feet apart one direction, two and a half feet apart the other direction. And by the way, I need more space than two by two and a half feet. She's gonna need more after I said that on camera. So the spacing is one of the things that we think has really helped them this year. So the next thing that we did differently this year is we planted our tomato plants really deeply. Now, most people would be afraid because you're always taught, don't put dirt on top of the root ball, but tomatoes, they'll grow roots from their fibers. So you can plant them pretty deep. You can even plant part of the stem in the ground and that will root. I even cut off the lower leaves and yeah. planted it below the lower leaves. And this gives them more room to root and makes you know the stalk as thicker as it get, goes up. So you're starting off with a thicker stalk, a stronger plant from day one. So that's, I think, one of the best things that we did differently yeah. this year. The next thing we want to talk about is staking. This one's kind of funny to us because we learned a lot last year. Have a big stake ready. Yeah. Yeah, because you think your tomato plant only grows a certain height, but if it's an indeterminate tomato, that means it's, it's kind of like saying it's an infinite yeah. grower. Yeah. So it just, they'll go so big, as, as big as you allow them to grow. Yeah. Last year was our first year planting San Marzanos, and they grow big. Um, it was taller than me. And the stakes, they were too weak, they were too small, so we kept on changing them, and then you have to stick something in the dirt again, plants don't like it so start off big yeah it might have looked funny when we put these six foot posts these are actually eight foot posts but they're buried two feet in it might have looked funny when we put these six foot T posts in the ground with these small tomato plants but if you can see they're already yeah. over three feet tall and this is just in a few weeks and they're going to keep getting taller so I really wish we got larger stakes we might even have needed larger than six feet stakes, but we wanted to provide something really strong and tall from the beginning. Um, get a big stake if you have an indeterminate tomato from day one. Next, we mulched from day one. And this may seem obvious, but sometimes when you're trying to save money or you're trying to save you know, time, you don't do that from day one. But this time we mulched from day one with cardboard and then leaves and mulch on top of that. Yeah. And it's amazing how much moisture the soil has retained, which that's going to be really important here in Texas to keep the roots yeah. cool and to keep the plants healthy. The last thing we did differently was companion plant. Everything is better with a companion. <laughs> so we companion planted um, marigolds and lots of basil. Basil is good to keep away the tomato hornworm. And marigolds are good to w keep away just all kinds of insects. Yeah. And we had problems with these insects last year. Yeah, 
so we thought we'd just get a jump start on it plant those things with it it the basil smells great out here and the marigolds look beautiful so those are our tips for growing a bigger and better tomato patch than ever i wish you luck with our tips and let us know how they want in the comments below yeah um if you grow tomatoes or you have a garden tag us on instagram at dick and hope yeah, i want to see your san marzanos yeah we'd love to see that so comment um like the video subscribe to our subscribe. channel subscribe thanks for watching bye everybody bye He's the best boy. He's a good dog. Okay, we good? I mashed the marigold. So those are our tips for growing a bigger and better tomato patch than ever. <laughs> <laughs>